When Splash Damage was formed, we were fresh from the mod making community. We met online, started modding before meeting face to face, and stumbled into creating entire games ourselves. Competitive multiplayer games are in our blood, and we believe the best friendships are made in a team on the battlefield. We started Dirty Bomb as a game shaped by gamers, and we worked closely with our community during our closed alpha to create a core game that was team-based, fast-paced, and rewarded skillful play. We were set to create and release the game from start to finish, but we ran into a roadblock. We didn't really know how to publish a game. So we talked to Nexon, who had been publishing and operating online free-to-play games for decades. With our experience in team shooters and Nexon's online publishing smarts, we were good to go. So we've learned a lot from them as they've led us into this brave new world. We've also learned from major partners on other Splash Damage titles, like Wolfenstein, Quake, and more recently, Gears of War. And now, we're ready. Our time has come. Splash Damage is taking over Dirty Bomb. The ink is drying on a deal with Nexon that will give us full publishing control of our game. And this means everything. Marketing, servers, anti-cheat, the lot. Initially, you shouldn't notice any difference, but there are a number of areas we want to improve. One of your most reported issues is hackers, so we'll be replacing the existing anti-cheat system with easy anti-cheat. Now this is used by other huge online multiplayer shooters to deal with cheaters, and we'll be going into the game next week. Beyond that, you'll be hearing about other improvements in upcoming videos. During this transition, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. We're working hard to take on the game servers, databases, and customer support under our own publishing arm, Warchest. Will it all go smoothly? We ran into a few snags in our first day of operating the back end. Running the game is going to present a whole new set of challenges, but we're ready to take them on and improve as we go. This brings us to the website and forums, which we'll be seeing a few changes next week. Our new website will be pretty bare bones, but we'll be updating it over time. The forums, however, will be down for a while as we need to migrate them. All of your posts will be saved though, and will be right where you left them when they go back up. There's a lot going on, so please be patient while we find our feet. We'll keep you up to date with our progress, and trust me, there's a lot to talk about in the coming weeks. Finally, we want to give a shout out to Raz and the team over at Nexon for their hard work over the years. Thanks guys, you'll be missed. Look, Dirty Bomb's got huge potential. You know it, we know it, and so we're taking it to the next level. So many of you have stuck with us since we started and believed in us when times were tough. But this is the turning point. It's time for us to grow the team, build more content, and forge a new future for Dirty Bomb. What would Dirty Bomb be like if you couldn't jump? It'd be pretty weird, huh? Well, Devour set himself the challenge of taking Kira into battle and using only her trusty katana and no jumps at all, had to get as many kills as possible. To be fair, he did a pretty good job. So check it out and suggest him some other challenges as well. Last week, DB Nation held their New Year Cup, of which we're happy to congratulate Effie as the winners. Now, if that didn't quench your thirst, there's more competitive action going on this weekend in their Proving Grounds Cup. Now, there's still time to enter your team, and if you do, you may come up against a team of Splash Damage devs, as we're going to be taking to the battlefield. Come at us, if you dare. Last week, the most reported issues were server performance, ranked, and hackers. For server performance, we're in the process of taking over the handling of servers worldwide, so we'll be looking into seeing what we can do to improve them. For Ranked, we know a lot of you have that competitive itch waiting to be scratched. We're working hard to get Season 2 started as soon as possible, and we'll update you when we can. As for Hackers, we're replacing our existing anti-cheat system for easy anti-cheat next week. Exciting times. Now make sure you subscribe, and for now, let us know in the comments below what you're looking forward to most.